Nearly 200 jobs are coming to Davidson County. This afternoon, the Nucor Corporation announced plans to build a new major facility east of Lexington. It will put millions of dollars back into the community. Good evening and welcome. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. This North Carolina-based company is one of the country's leading industrial steel providers. Fox 8's Tyler Harden uh, attended that big announcement this afternoon. He joins us live on Highway 64 near Kepley Road, where the a new steel mill will be built. Tyler. Yes, well, soon all of the land that you see behind me will be that new micro mill steel mill here using 100% recycled materials. Now, Nucor is one of several other industries calling Davidson County home, like Eggerwood Products and Mohawk Flooring. Now, while crews aren't ready to move the dirt you see just yet, they say it'll play a major role in construction. From D.C. all the way to Atlanta, there's a great need. A need for steel, and it's that need Nucor Corporation is trying to fulfill from the heart of Davidson County. <laughs> the North Carolina-based company plans to build a rebar steel micro mill on Highway 64 east of Lexington. It's a $350 million investment creating 180 new high-paying jobs with an average salary of nearly $100,000. We have great roads, we have railroads, we have water, transportation, and resources. So we're, we're a good location where all of that comes together. Davidson County Economic Development Commission Chairman Steve Jackson says building up the workforce within the county is the focus now to attract and keep companies like Nucor. And those folks, those kids will have jobs here. They won't have to go somewhere else to find opportunities. There's just a different level of commitment, I think, um, with those that have uh, been raised in the community and that choose to stay in Davidson County. Nucor made a commitment to the school systems in Davidson County with these checks of $250,000, money to prepare the future workforce. We want to be a front runner in STEM. We have a Yadkin Valley Career Academy, and um, we're bringing, we're really focusing on some STEM in our elementary schools. So, you know, perhaps this could open up the door. New Corp president and CEO Leon Topalian says safety is a priority in and outside the micro mill. They demonstrated from the start by giving $50,000 to the Holly Grove Fire Department. By building this relationship from day one just begins the commitment level uh, to show that we're, we're more than just talk. We're going to be here. We're going to live here. Our team's going to live here and uh, we, we can't wait to be a part of it. So over the next few months, Nucor will put a team together to, to start the designing process for what this micro mill will look like. Then they start to hire next year, and they officially open the plan in 2024. Live in Davidson County tonight, Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News.